The 98th edition of the Giro d'Italia will start in San Lorenzo al Mare and takes the riders nearly 3,500 kilometres before the finish in Milan three weeks later. The race features seven summit finishes, including the decisive Stage 20 to Sestriere. Defending champion Nero Quintana is focusing on the Tour de France this year and will not return to battle for a second title. Nevertheless, a strong field will line up this Saturday, and here are Cycling News' top 10 contenders to watch for the Giro d'Italia. Alberto Contador is the clear favourite for this year's title, as he begins his bid for the elusive Giro Tour double. It's the first time that Contador will ride the Italian race since 2011, where he won the title but saw it scratched from his Palmares following a two-year retrospective ban for Clembuterol. Contador's start to the year has been consistent without being spectacular. His preparation was disrupted by an injury sustained at the Volta de Catalonia, but Contador says he's fully recovered and ready to go. Richie Port will finally get his long-awaited chance to head up Team Sky at the Giro d'Italia. Port was due to take the leadership role at the 2014 race, but an illness punctuated start to the year resulted in the team pulling him from the lineup. In contrast, Port has been on fire this season with overall victories at Paris Nice, the Walter Catalonia, and the Giro del Trentino. On paper, the Australian's in the strongest form of all the contenders, but he'll have to hope that he hasn't peaked too soon. After taking a surprising podium finish at last year's Giro, Fabio Aru returns to the race as a serious contender. Aru's build-up to the race has been less than ideal, with intestinal problems plaguing him in April. The illness forced Aru out of the Giro del Trentino last month and leaves him with only 15 days of racing ahead of the Giro d'Italia. Aru reportedly lost 5 kilos during his illness, and it remains to be seen how much it's impacted his form. Domenico Pozzaviva makes his ninth appearance at the Giro d'Italia this May. The Italian has finished in the top 10 on four occasions, securing his best finish of fifth last season. A serious contender in the mountains, Pozzaviva's time training skills often let him down, and stage 14 could be his downfall this year. He limited his early season racing, taking a lengthy break after the Tour Down Under in January, and he looks like he's coming into form with a stage win at the Giro del Trentino late last month. Rigoberto Oran will lead Etix quick step for the second year running at the Giro d'Italia. The Colombian has finished in the runners-up spot in the past two editions of the Italian race. Oran surprised with his time trial victory in 2014 and spent four days in the pink jersey before handing it to eventual winner Nero Quintana. He backed up his time trial form with the national title in February and he's had a consistent season so far, but he'll have to step things up if he wants another podium finish. Leopold Koenig will enjoy protected status at Team Sky along with Richie Porte. Koenig moved to Sky this winter after an impressive 7th place at his debut Tour de France. He had a great start to the year at the Mallorca Challenge, but has failed to impress since then. Koenig's form has hit an upward curve though, with 3rd at the Giro del Trentino. If he can repeat his performance of the time trial at last year's Tour, then Koenig could be a serious threat in the overall classification. Three years since becoming the first Canadian to win a Grand Tour at the 2012 Giro d'Italia, rider Hajidal has failed to repeat his race-winning performance. Hajidal came closest at last year's edition of the race, with 9th place overall. It may have been more than that, but for a major crash suffered by Garmin in the opening team time trial. Canada and Garmin have already had a hefty team time trial crash this season, and Hajidal will be hoping history won't repeat itself in San Remo this Saturday. Chemiswab Niemiec is Lampre Marida's best hope of a strong result in the general classification. The Polish rider finished 6th overall in the 2013 Giro, but put in a disappointing performance last season. His Achilles heel is a time trial, and I'd be happy to see much less of it this year. Niemiec has had a solid start to the season, with a top 10 finish on the Terminilo stage of Terreno, showing some good early season form. Lampre have other ambitions in the race, with Sasha Modelo and Diego Ulissi targeting stage wins. Darwin Atapuma returns to Grand Tour Racing following his broken femur at last year's Tour de France. Atapuma has been providing support for TJ Van Garderen in the early part of this season, but the Giro gives them a chance to lead the team's GC ambitions. The Colombian's last appearance at the Giro d'Italia came two years ago, where he finished fourth in the Young Riders classification. Atapuma will be looking forward to the final week, where he could cause some trouble for the bigger GC favourites in the high mountains. After it became clear that Lotto Sidal would not be bringing him to the Tour de France later this season, Jürgen van der Broek persuaded the team to take him to the Giro d'Italia. It's only the third time that he'll ride the Italian race, and his first appearance since 2008. On that occasion, van der Broek finished 7th overall, 6.5 minutes behind race winner Alberto Contador. 
There'll be pressure on his shoulders to do that or more as he tries to secure his future with the team.